Welcome back my fellow radiation nerds! Today we will take a closer look at the Battle Geiger S2 meter and if it's really a Battle Geiger counter. Geiger counters are one of the most common tools used for measuring radiation all around us, but they are not perfect. They often suffer from limitations such as inaccurate dose rates and low sensitivity, which are characteristics of the Geiger Miller tube used by the meters. In the recent years, there has been a surge in products that use small scintillation crystals instead of the more traditional Geiger Miller tubes, but they are usually more advanced devices targeted at experienced users, not entry level amateurs. This is where the better Geiger S2 comes in. First things first, I would like to thank Robert from Better Geiger, who was kind enough to provide me with the S2 meter, making this video possible. The Better Geiger S2 is a personal radiation detector manufactured in Colorado, USA. It is made out of high quality plastic which feels solid and durable, and for extra protection, the unit is wrapped in a rubber case which should prevent it from any fall damage if it would slip out of hand. While slightly on the bigger side, it can be operated single handedly, and navigating through the menus and settings was pretty simple and intuitive. Despite its name, Barry Geiger does not use a Geiger Miller tube. Instead, it has a small scintillation crystal, which gives about 100 counts per minute of background activity. Unlike most Geiger counters, Better Geiger factors in the different gamma energies detected to give accurate gamma dose readings. The measurements can be displayed as microsieverts per hour, milliram per hour, and counts per minute. And the unit does also have an alarm feature, which threshold can be adjusted to the user's preference. While it can detect some strong betas, it's not particularly sensitive to them, and I think it is better to think of the meter as gamma only. When compared to my other meters, the better Geiger showed much higher sensitivity to gamma radiation, which I think can be particularly helpful when looking for radioactive minerals. I got a few uranium hunting trips planned, and I'm very excited to take the meter with me and see how it performs. I really did enjoy using the better Geiger S2 meter. However, I do see some potential improvements for future versions to make it even better. Firstly, the plastic use over the display screen is way too soft, which makes it very easy to scratch. I would love to see it replaced with one that is more resistant to wear and tear of everyday use. Secondly, I would move the sensor to the top of the meter. At the moment, it is facing the user, making it hard and impractical to measure different sources, as it's not always easy to see the readings on the screen. Thirdly, I would like to see an improved version of the algorithm, which would quickly adjust the readings when there's a sudden increase in activity, but then stabilize once the correct measurement is reached. The one currently used is definitely not bad and does the job pretty well, but it would make the unit faster and more responsive. So, is it worth it? Considering the unit is priced at just under $150, I think it is a good alternative to many meters in the same price range. I love the fact that it shows accurate gamma dose readings and that it has higher sensitivity to gamma radiation than conventional Geiger counter. While it's not the perfect tool for everyone, as it doesn't detect better radiation very well, I still think it is a solid meter, offering something new and unique to the market. I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the better Geiger S2 meter and do you have any experience with it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee and support my work financially. And remember, stay active.